Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good one. Uh, today I'm launching a mini series for a game called Other Side. Uh, since I saw the announcement a few weeks ago, I've been super stoked to try this out. It's a turn-based tactics game on a dynamic timeline. As you can tell just from the intro scene and if you've seen the trailers, the art style is just super unique. And the music specifically has some metal undertones, which I love. I think more games should do that actually. Uh, as some of you know, when this video goes live, I'm going to be in the middle of a move. Uh, but I really wanted to get my hands on this. And that's why I'm doing this as a mini-series compared to a full thing. Uh, I want to thank Focus Home Interactive for working with me and sponsoring this mini-series so I could give this a go. Let's dive in and see what kind of trouble we can cause. Uh, if you're interested in the game, there's going to be links down below to check it out on Steam or Xbox One right now. It's also coming to the PS4 and the Switch. So... Let's begin. This is my first time playing. I'm going to give you my raw, like, thoughts as we learn it. And uh, I'll do a video per day for the next three days. So hopefully you guys enjoy. From behind the veil they grow, those who should always beware. In muted darkness they flow, those who feed on your nightmare. The Book of Nostra. For centuries, the mother has protected the veil, preventing it from shattering. Her journey has led to her deserted streets of the city, rotted by the plague, where a greater threat awaits. He needs us. The other has come for the chosen one, and soon the veil will break. The suffering cannot continue. <laughs> That's trippy. Okay. Strong bond between an other and its chosen one is capable of something. I'm sure we'll learn what. This is in 1897. Suffering festers within him. The edge of reality frays. Each battle takes more and more out of me. The other could shred the veil and devour our world. Whoa. Will you stay with me until the end? I'll give what I can. What I have left. Let it go here and no further. As I mentioned, like the art style, I love it, man. That's cool. Okay. Watch, my friend. Once I move to strike, the first will fall. So, uh, these are health points, HP. Your unit dies when their HP reaches zero. Pretty standard video game affair. Action points. Most actions cost AP. Okay. Move to the red square. The further you move, the more action points AP will cost you. Okay, so it's not... Like, each tile... Let's see if we can get an idea of, of how many of these are. Um, you just move here. So it's 10 AP. We assume that's 10 AP per tile, perhaps. The other sends more against us. Select the attack skill. Instant action skills are played immediately and cost you action points. Okay, let's do it. The, the important part about saying that it happens immediately is because we're on this dynamic timeline. So the timeline orders all units by their initiative and moves forward whenever a unit ends their turn. A unit can play when it reaches zero on the left side of the timeline. Okay, cool. Unit will move to 50 on the timeline and recover all their AP for the next turn. I see. So this is the indicator of where we're going to end up. Delayed action, massive shot. Was that this one here? 
Delayed skills immediately end the unit's turn. Their powerful effects are activated later on the timeline. I'm thinking it's this one on the right. Cult is preparing a delayed massive shot. Select the shield charge for 50. Okay. This skill will delay the target's next action. It will also cancel their delayed attack. So let's take a look at this on the right-hand side here. Uh, it does a decent chunk of damage. Hit chance 100%. Uh, dash up to five tiles, deal up to 392 damage, and delay target by 30 initiative units. Okay. Interrupt skills can take a s or can stop a single enemy attack and immediately launch a counter attack. Warning: Interrupt skills cost HP. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Select Vengeful Stance. It will interrupt the next melee attack and launch a devastating counter. Target your own active unit to launch interrupt skills. Unit will move to 50 on the timeline and recover all AP. Okay, let's go. Very nice. Jeez, like, what are these things? This is the same song that we heard at the uh, intro, but without vocals. I can stop the attack before it happens. Okay, so we see that these three are coming in hot if we don't do anything. Uh, I don't know. I think this 21... Yeah, the 21 is the space on the timeline. Here's the 50s. Okay. Select Spear Tornado. So we're learning a whole bunch of different types of attacks cost 60 AP after a delay of 10 initiative units so it's going to happen here deal up to 592 damage delay enemies in the area by 70 initiative units so if we don't kill them it's going to move them back quite a bit then immobilize them for 50 initiative units let's do it Yeah, that one seems pretty strong. I imagine being that this is a tutorial setup, we're not going to have all of these skills right away. But it is nice to kind of get a tease. Okay. Uh... Action points burst. Your unit will go into burst if they start using their last 50 AP. This pushes your unit back to 100 on the timeline, so be careful to burst only when you need an extra move or to deal a killing blow to a wounded enemy. So we kind of want to operate in this front part of the timeline so that we can rest uh, and get that, that full uh, AP back on the next turn. Some skills like Shield Charge can delay the next time an enemy will play to give you more control on the timeline. Okay. Dodge is a percent chance a unit has of avoiding an attack. We have zero right now. Armor is a unit's protection, so we have 70. Represents the damage deducted from each attack. I like that it's just a simple add and subtract to figure out damage reduction. Armor and dodge can be modified by ally or enemy skills, so always pay attention to skill descriptions. Remember, the timeline is the key to winning battles. Powerful delayed skills and your units turn immediately and activate later. Interrupt skills prepare a unit to block an attack and strike back after their turn. Some skills delay the next time an enemy will play to give you more control. Using your last 50 AP will provoke a burst, pushing your unit to 100 on the timeline. Gift gives me such strength. Okay, now it's just letting us kind of do what we need to. Uh, so if we hover over this, it shows us uh, what the unit is doing. Range attack delayed by 60 initiative units that deals 410 damage. Uh, is there a way to see where this is coming from? Yeah, it's this guy highlighted here. So we need uh, probably that shield charge delaying that. Yes, it's an instant action. Moves us a little further away as well. 
Um, we're currently at 50, so we don't really want to go beyond that, I don't think. That was... That did get rid of the attack. Let's see what happens here. So they have to use this time to move and then set up. This guy's close, so maybe he can do something. That's fine. I love the music. That's oh, so good. So good. Uh, what if we do that spear tornado here? Or maybe I even move in and hit this. It's using 60 AP. After delay of 10 initiative units, deal up... Oh, yeah, that is a delay. Which would be fine, I think. But if we move, then we're going to be a lot closer to this. Uh, let's. We can just spear tornado the area. Mobilize them for 50. This one should die. I didn't catch the full health. Yeah, nice. Okay. Oh, it lived. Okay, very close. Very, very close. It's always really trippy learning a dynamic timeline in a new game. It's an action scratch. Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do about that. But we seem to have, at least at this point, we have a huge health pool compared to the rest of these guys. And I think because we use that 60 action point move, these guys are all getting to react because we had to get pushed near the end. A Plague Butcher. We'll try and catch some of these names. Plague Guard. Okay, so... I'm tempted to just, like, Spear Tornado this area. How much health does this guy have? 547? So it's possible. He does have armor, though. So he would, uh, 592 minus the 34. He would still die, in theory. And the other guys are really far away. So, there's, there's a range of damage. You're not sure what the range is going to be, I guess. And then you subtract the armor. Armor up 170? Okay. So what's this one doing? Whoops. I think if we can... I hate to just keep using the same thing. Let's try something different here. Deals up to 402 AoE damage each 15 initiative units. Up to three times. This is an instant action. I think we just take this. 792 damage is no joke. And then we can probably just do it again. Even though this will put us over that 50 and we're in, into burst. Uh, this one will have to move all the way in. One, two, three, four, five. We have a lot of health. I don't know if we get this back like after a mission. I don't even know if there are missions. Cancel the first melee attack and deal 992. Maybe we just do this. Let's see. It's one thing to read on text and then just do what it's telling you. But then when it gives you free reign, you kind of have to try it out. Okay, so his armor buff was one turn. He is here. The chosen one. Uh, oh, the child. 10,000 health. I don't want to harm you, little one. But I will, if I need I to. I want to harm you. <laughs> Very much. What? what? 
That's creepy. I don't like that. I have failed. You most of all. I fought with every bone and sinew. All I am, I leave to you. Take it. My blood is my legacy. May it spill forth into an army to rend suffering from its host. Okay, well, I think we have the absolute basics. The city was destroyed. The veil fractured. Thousands of souls perished, swallowed by the void. My voice destroyed a city. It's not enough. How soon will you hatch? I want you in this world. I want to see what you can do. To those that hurt me. To those you will hurt. I can't wait. <laughs> what? This is bizarre. Time and space converged. Reality and unreality were on the edge of destruction for the first time and other was close to breaking through. Cool. Hence, other side, but C-I-D-E, as in killing, but also breaking through. Do not despair. My life lights your path. Do you remember our journey together? This time, let me guide you. You will wield my memories like a sword, and with them, grow our army. So I understand that there's um, multiple classes that we can have. Thus they were trapped in an everlasting loop from recollection to recollection. Daughters of the Red Mother die only to rise again. Uh, in the trailer, it also showed that you can kill off one of these so-called daughters to make another one stronger. So there's kind of a sacrificial act of these units to buff other ones. If you're like me, you get this attached to your unit, so is a harbinger. might be weird. Soon all will follow. The very fabric of our reality is threatened. My last breath is near. My daughters, you are of me. Put an end to suffering. In a weird way, it gives me uh, Senua's Sacrifice vibes like the voices other side's a game about sacrifice and tough choices progress is auto save so there is no turning back the enemies on other side are lethal and every mistake you uh will cost you dearly your daughters will die and you will lose only to rise stronger again the game expects players to fail but failure is not the end after ending a run you restart with additional bonuses and even the ability to resurrect fallen daughters for a cost this is very reminiscent of uh games like well darkest dungeon XCOM-ish in the sense that you're going to lose characters. Uh, feels like Dead Cell in a way with the progression or any roguelikes for that matter. Infiltrating Nostra proved a fine this idea. side of the veil, I can give you my daughters, birthed from my soul. You will need them to fight. This is the chrono map. From here, you'll be able to manage your daughters in the inner void, select your next mission from the attack menu, or end the day. Let's enter the inner void to germinate a new daughter. Let's, yeah, let's germinate one. Enter the inner void. Welcome to the inner void. Here you can manage your daughters. That's just like real life. Enter the birthing pool and you can... Okay, yeah, let's germinate in the birthing pool. <laughs> So this costs uh, 200 Vitae. And we can rename them. Oh, yes. Okay. I like that. Um, I mean, Celeste, Celeste is a fine, a fine name. But what if we just wanted to go with something basic, like a Martha? I think a Martha is nice. Okay. And then here's three classes that we have access to. Blademaster excels in melee duels. 
The Soul Slinger supports her sisters from afar. And the Shield Bearer protects her sisters. So you have kind of your basic, uh, I don't know if you want to say tank, but your melee fighter, range fighter, and then defense. Assign a class to your daughter. Choose wisely as it cannot be changed later. Um, so this is saying we have a blade master, I guess. We have a soul slinger. We do not have a shield bearer. So I think that makes sense to put uh, Martha as the shield bearer. Has more defense than her sister. Is capable of controlling most enemies with her shield. Yeah, let's go. The others are converging, warping reality. You must stop suffering from feeding. Go. Close the first synapse. Uh, we will. Thanks. So we have... Um, it looks like these are referencing bosses. Confront the boss. I don't know what this is. Some type of uh, objective or encounter of some kind. So here's a synapse. New missions or synapses appear each day. Be the synapse to close it. You can take one to three daughters. You get uh, Vite. I don't know what this other stuff is yet. You get XP, and then whatever these shard things are. Select the synapse. Okay, here you can view mission details and choose the daughters you want to send. I really appreciate a tutorial that is super granular like this. I will say. Uh, so Amy, Modesty, and Martha. <laughs> Let's bring Amy in, our Blade Master. Modesty, our Soul Slinger, and Martha, our Shield Bearer. Just says hunt all creatures. I imagine it's going to start out pretty basic. But uh, I tell you what, here, why don't we wrap this one up for today? Good little intro, nice tutorial. And then when we come back tomorrow, we're going to start this mission fresh. And uh, I don't know how long the missions are, but we'll see if I can't get into a couple of missions and maybe fight a boss for the whole mini series. And uh, if you guys really like this and you enjoy watching me play it, uh, let me know, and then when the when my move is done, and everything is uh, complete, and I'm settled in the new place, then uh, maybe we come back and try this, and uh, dive back into it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out the links below if you want to see the game for yourself, and uh, let me know what you think of it. We'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.